and my heart rate is 110 beats a minute right now 109 okay so I like this little this little this little uh, this little watch it's really nice man I highly recommend you guys get a fitness tracker some type of watch that monitors your heart rate and uh, it has a stopwatch timer heart rate monitor and uh, this one has GPS so it literally tells you like when I'm done today I can save today's workout it'll tell me all the distances from there that it you know the walking from house to here the sprints me walking right now to the workout station the watch is keeping track of I, I have it set to kilometers you can set it to metric or to imperial system or metric system military we like to use metric system kilometers and stuff stuff like that so I have it set right now to kilometers metric so that's just for me that's what I prefer all right now we're gonna um, continue with the workout we just did the fat burner portion this is only day two and it's it's, <laughs> it's brutal it's fun all right so I'm pretty much following the same format as I did yesterday which is do a little quick power walk to the park then do 50 jumping jacks which you guys saw we did and then do a series of burpees or eight count bodybuilders yesterday we did 20 today we did 30 so we're, there's some improvement in one day and then even then I was doing better form today yesterday my form sucked but my form has improved today I was able to get down and jump back up a lot easier my my body is stiff um, and that's just from being a little older and not really training consistently so as you guys can see I'm pretty honest I'll be I'll be brutally honest with myself say I'm out of shape I'm out of shape but that's why I'm out here all right so now fat burner stuff is done it the thing about fat burning is this once you start the process of that meta metabolic burn which is warm up walk over here 10 minute walk 50 jumping jacks another part of the warm-up which also starts the metabolic metabolic burn 30 eight count bodybuilders gets the blood flow and some more metabolic burn starts burning fat then do four 40 yard sprints as fast as you can which is what I did more metabolic burn so now my furnace is burning my my internal body furnace is burning it's burning fat it's burning calories I'm actually burning calories even as I just stand here because that metabolic burn has started that's what that's about a fat burner workout is is starting your body's furnace to burn the calories that you already have in your body I have not eaten yet it's almost 3 in the afternoon I do that on purpose that's uh, intermittent fasting I'm not saying for you to follow that because some people you might need to eat some of you people might have diabetes other nutritional needs so I can't speak for you on your diet I can only speak for mine I didn't eat breakfast I had water I had coffee and now I'm burning whatever's in my body now is being burned as fuel so I don't have to worry about anything in my stomach because I haven't eaten since yesterday that's intermittent fasting look into it it's interesting check with your doctor I like it it works you start seeing results really quickly your face gets thinner uh, you start losing fat uh, okay so now that I've ran my mouth and explained a few things, caught my breath, we're gonna do strength training portion of the workout, which is gonna be dips 
and maybe some pull-ups or some push-ups or something. And then we'll close it off with crunches, which kick my butt. Yesterday, you'll see, I look like it was pretty pathetic, but I just gave it all I got. I'll get better. I will get better. Like I said, in the Marine Corps, I used to be able to do 100 crunches in two minutes. No problem. I'm trying to get back to that. That's why we're out here. Okay, so now it's dips. Follow along, comment, like, subscribe, share. Let me know what's, what, what you like, what you didn't like, what you think I can do better. Let me know if you're following along. Um, and then check my progress, man, because I know I'm gonna achieve the goals, which for me is just health and wellness. And realistically, I am six feet tall. I weigh about 235, 240. I shouldn't be that big. I should be hinging around 205. So if I'm 235, 240, that goes to show you I got about 35 pounds to lose. That's my goal, 35 pounds. Whatever your personal goals is, set a goal and, and achieve it because you can believe it, you can achieve it. So for me, you guys already heard, I'm trying to get down to 205. Six feet tall, 205. I still got that knockout power at 205. You mess with me, I'll knock you out. I'm always a Marine, remember that. I'll knock you out. All right, so let's knock out these dips though. Boom, let's go. You guys with me? That was 15. We just knocked out 15. I drank a little water. And then we're gonna do more. I'm trying to do five sets. Each set I maximize. So 15, max set. One more set, that'll be probably, I'm gonna try to hit 15, but I might not get that much. But you maximize, target is 15 for me. Whatever, you're, if your target is four, try to get four. If your target is four, then your max is four, then do five sets of four. If you do a set of four, and then the next set you only do three, that's your second set, you're good. Go to your third set. If you only do two, that's your third set, you're good. If you go to your fourth set, at least get one, your fourth set's done. Your fifth set, at least get one, your fifth set, see what I'm saying? So for me, I'm trying to target 15 every set, and there's five sets. So my first set was 15, I achieved that goal. Now this next set, I'm gonna try to get 15 and achieve a, that same goal. All right, here we go. All right, so as you guys saw, I did 10. So my target was 15. I give it all I got until you get muscle fatigue and you push until you just can't do anymore. So the first set was 15. 
Second set was 10. Take a break, drink some water, and then do a third set. Remember, this is the strength training portion of the workout. We're doing strength training. The fat burning portion was what we started with. Your body's still in fat burner mode, which is good. And then you add to it with the strength training portion, which is how you close out your workout. Okay, so now we're gonna do a third set. Again, my target is 15. As you saw, I only did 10. I'm gonna do try to hit 15. Here we go. Okay, as you see I'm wearing something a lot more comfortable and looser today for today's workout than I did yesterday. Yesterday I had on some tight jeans. They were just jeans, but they were just restrictive. They were work jeans. Wear some shorts, wear some athletic attire. Okay, so if you saw that, I did nine on that set. That's my third set. So it was 15 on the first set, 10 on the second set, nine on the third set. So now we have two more sets and that will be five sets of dips, which is to build strength. What dips work on is your triceps. They work on the back part of your arm, this part, that's the tricep. It also works on the lower portion of your chest for women some women want breast lift a breast lift when you get older you start hitting 34 35 36 37 38 39 years of age boobs might sag a little bit men your boobs might sag a little bit this is a natural way non-surgical to get that breast lift and men chest lift because uh, the muscles under here get tighter right here right there and your triceps so this is a great exercise it gets you stronger it makes you uh, muscles tighter in your arms toning tones your arms tones the under portion of your pectoral muscles women you guys have pectoral muscles men we have pectoral muscles uh, women just also have fatty breast tissue Men look like we can get that too if we don't take care of ourselves. So this works for men and women. It's unisex. It's a muscle builder, muscle enhancer, toner, um, strength exercise. It's a compound movement. So for women, again, do them. If you can't do them, you can have people assist you. When you're going down, they can grab your, your feet and push you up as you go up and it gives you a little bit of boost, but you're still doing the workout. Your body still benefits. Okay, here we go, set number four. After you catch your breath, drink your water, and then go do them again. Let's go. Don't forget to drink your water. It's 
very important stay hydrated um, so that was pretty good I got nine on my set four so whatever you get the, the key is challenge yourself if you only do five dips and you're on set four or set five but you pushed it as much as you can you're good you feel good about that okay so that was my fourth set I feel really good about it because I did 15 10 9 and 9 now here's the last set and we're gonna try to get 15 that's always my target is 15 even though you saw I was getting 10 9 and 9 after the first 15 my brain is saying get 15 so if you're setting yourself for five tell yourself every time you're gonna get five and if you only get four or three you're shooting for five so do your best I'm gonna try to get 15 right now and since this is my last set I'm really gonna give it all I got this is my fifth set so hopefully you guys are still with me um, don't give up on yourself I don't care what the world tells you you're better than what the world says don't believe the devil's lie God made you you're good so stay motivated let's do this last set stick with me everybody All right, I just killed all my water. I think this is 1.5 liters. So I just drank 1.5 liters of water. So I'm working out, because you're gonna sweat, I'm sweating. You're gonna sweat, hopefully you're gonna sweat. That's your body's way of cooling itself down because your thermogenics are getting hot, which is your internal combustion. Your body's warming up because the blood is flowing. Your heart is beating fast. The muscle, your heart is a muscle. And it's beating faster because you're working out. You got your heart rate up, which creates a thermogenesis effect, which is heat. You, you got heat inside of your body. It's warmer. Blood's moving, pumping. You're breathing. You're breathing. Heart's beating and all that. Your blood's circulating oxygen. Oxygen needs to get to the brain, number one. Then extremities last. Uh, so because of that, your body sweats to cool itself down. So when you sweat, good thing about it is you're sweating out impurities, you're sweating out fat, you're sweating out all the ugly stuff. Your body's like, get rid of it, get rid of it. Salts and stuff, you're, that's why you gotta drink Gatorade sometimes because you replenish your electrolytes. You're sweating out salts, but you're sweating out impurities. <sighs> Anybody who's ever gotten drunk and then gone on a run the next day, like we did in the Marines, when people are sweating as we're running on those five mile runs, it smells like a brewery. You could smell the alcohol coming off of their bodies as they're evaporating the alcohol and the sweat and all that. You knew who drank the night before. Uh, it's your body's way of getting rid of that stuff. So when you sweat, you're getting rid of negative stuff, stuff that your body doesn't need. It's going to expel it in a way of sweat and evaporation so sweating is good I hope you're sweating that's why you got to drink water too because sweat is moisture it's you're sweating out water replenish it replace it okay so that was our fifth set I did nine so I did a set of 15 a set of 10 a set of nine a set of nine and a set of nine so I'm proud of myself hopefully you guys are doing the same thing and be proud of yourself give yourself some love man how are you going to love somebody else if you can't love yourself first? One way you love yourself is to take care of yourself. That's why we're out here. 
Am I right or right? I'm right. Uh, okay, so here's the part that I dread the most. You guys are gonna laugh, go ahead, I don't care. The crunches. I'm gonna do, whatever, do my best. I have a target, two sets of 25 for a grand total of 50 crunches. Yesterday was pathetic. Let's see if I can do a little better. Here we go, and I'm gonna set up the camera so you guys can watch me and laugh or just cheer me on. Please comment, please like, please subscribe, please say something, say something uh, positive or negative, just say something. Let me know what you're doing if you're watching. Thanks everybody, here we go. Last set of uh, our workout for the day and then it's time to go home, shower, and get some food and drink some more water. All right, here we go. 25 crunches and then 25 crunches. <clears throat> Oh yeah, go ahead, dude. Whew. Brutal. <laughs> every day, it's right, man. You get older, you lose it real quick. Super quick. Wow, see, there you go, everybody. He's 61. He echoes my sentiments, get it every day. <laughs> I just did 25. I'm proud of myself because that... I don't do crunches. Yeah, that's, half, that's about all I can do. <laughs> I go like this too. That's good. See the technique, everybody? He's getting the sides, the obliques. Excellent. It doesn't have to be a whole lot to make it. No? Exactly. Just get that burn, right? Uh, no, I mean, as far as going sideways. Okay. Damn, you lose it real quick. I can't feel anymore. Uh, <laughs> I do leg lifts too. 61 years old, everybody. That's what's up. That is what's up. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Oh, yeah, sure. Brian, look uh, it up Paul, on YouTube. Uh, Brian Calhoun oh, on YouTube. Okay. You're going to be a star. <laughs> All right, everybody. Now it's my turn. You guys saw that. That was cool. All right. I got to get mine in. He got his in. stars okay let's do it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 
21. 32. 33. 34. 25. All right. 25 and 25, I got them. I did 50 crunches. <laughs> Laugh if you want to, but I want to see you out here getting them too. All right, so. <sighs> That's the workout. All right, so we're done. Just gonna do a victory lap and go home. Take a shower, change clothes, and uh, eat. And I guarantee you, I'm gonna drink some water. Please bear me with me, everybody. Apparently, gimbal just died the battery just died so uh, this thing I haven't figured it out yet anyways but this is my victory lap just to cool down walk it off keep that heart rate going the track this track is set up to where four laps is a mile so I'm just walking a quarter mile right now and uh, breathing, breathing through your nose, and out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And uh, enjoy the victory. It's all about the journey, not the destination. As you guys saw, that gentleman was 61 years old, and he's out here training. Like he said, heed his advice. When you get older, it gets harder. Don't let yourself slide into a state of laziness. While you're young, if you're in your 30s or 40s, I'm switching this. While you're in your 30s or 40s, Take care of yourself so that you have a foundation so that when you get older, I'm switching this camera so when you have a foundation so that when you get older, it's not going to kick your butt. I have that foundation from the military and I have that foundation just from taking uh, athletics in college and stuff like that, but also just I'm motivated in the sense of I want to take care of myself. There's discipline in that, which is a good thing. Discipline is always good. So I say this. Wake up, be grateful, pray to the Lord. He gives grace to all to the good, the bad, the young and old, the ugly, the pretty, the short and tall. If you're an American, if you're Chinese, if you're Australian, if you're Canadian, if you're Mexican or Salvadorian, God is the same God. He loves us all. So give him some love back. All he wants to do is hear from you. Say thank you in the morning. Be grateful. Get out and meet some people. As you saw, does it look like anybody here is afraid of a pandemic or anything? You wouldn't think that, huh? That there's a pandemic. People out here are doing their best. We're working out. We're taking care of ourselves. We've got to live life. We're all going to die one day. Why die in fear? Go to the park, work out, do your thing. 
be grateful. I bet you that if you boost your immune system this way, you're not going to get sick anyways from even the, even the flu. Take care of yourself. Hey, but let me tell you guys something. I super appreciate you guys watching. I just completed my victory lap. That was a quarter mile. Now I'm going to walk home, shower, eat, change clothes, all that. And I'm grateful for you guys for watching. Thanks a lot. Staff Sergeant Calhoun from Whittier. Much love. Peace.